Okay, Super Monkey Ball, yeah, Dead by Daylight DLC. Mm. Wait, what? Out now? Add to cart? Hello? There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, wanna play? Ah! What are the graphics settings on this one then? Thank you to Mr. Dion for joining the Silver uh, Pier. <laughs> hey guys, it's your Bow, Bo the Doggo, and welcome back to Frog Detective, this time case 2. Um, from when I'm recording this, this game was released yesterday and I mean I just loved the, the first game so much and I saw that some of you people also <laughs> really enjoyed it. And it's just a stupid, funny, goofy little indie game. <laughs> so perfect that it released just a few days after I, re I uploaded my other video. Ah, it's a oh, I love it. <laughs> Let's play a new case. Look around, okay, oh, we all know, we know all this. Yeah, the dance party from last time. Intera can I interact now? Oh, right, I'm interacting with this stupid me. Hello? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective! Supervisor! <laughs> I missed you. Hi, Supervisor! Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were just talking a moment ago about the new case. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah, the other game ended like that, right? <laughs> the one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah! <laughs> I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. <laughs> well, that's understandable. <laughs> Silence again. So what do you tell me about this new case? It's a toasty detective. Hold on to your hat. <laughs> Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Oh, sorry. Anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into her new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Wow, a whole parade for, <laughs> for one person. Wow. Wow, great idea! Absolutely! Yeah, because that's what that's what you should do when someone is insecure and shy and all like have a parade for them. Yeah! <laughs> but someone in the town seems to think otherwise. Her? <laughs> Maybe? Last night the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. <laughs> Nobody has a lead on this case. They don't know who done it. <laughs> and that's where you come in, detective. <laughs> that's me. I am the detective. <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. <laughs> you need to take an uncharted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Just like last time. <laughs> Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> After some consideration, yeah. <laughs> Great! Hop to it! <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the wood is, um, special. She is, um, invincible! <laughs> ah, that was loud. <laughs> ah, the wizard! Wizard. Cool. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? <laughs> Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible, the invisible, uh, visible. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Uh, 
I have my shoes, my jumper, and my pants. I think I'm missing something. The magnifying glass. Your magnifying glass. Of course. It's, it's on the table next to your door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, supervisor. Good luck, detective. How did you know that, supervisor? Okay, let's grab the thing again. Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Got magnifying glass! Oh yeah! And it works the same, yeah. Understand, understand. Okay, let's... Oh, this is new. <gasps> Lobster cup! <laughs> what is he doing here? Why didn't he wink at me? Loves the cup. <laughs> oh my god! What is going on? <laughs> what an entrance! Oh my god! Ah, it's the famous frog detective. Uh, uh, famous? I'm I'm not famous. <laughs> Perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. <laughs> what brings you to my office, detective? Uh, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, uh, I thought that was a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's my office. Well, I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. <laughs> Yeah, I've noticed. I mean, they're working every time you do it. <laughs> I even say, hey, this is my office. And then you say, sure it is, little cleaning frog. <laughs> and then I say, I am a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. <laughs> oh, excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. <laughs> if I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. <laughs> you know, I can give you some tips if you like. Wow, yes, please. Tip number one, pay attention. You should make sure that you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two. Everyone is a suspect. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> I will suspect myself much more from now on. <laughs> Good call. Tip number three. Carry a notebook. Uh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <laughs> Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually incorrect if you're writing facts. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook though. Well, it's your lucky day. <laughs> Everyone is screaming. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep. There are stickers you can use too. I bought them with all my crime solving money. <laughs> cool. I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, Lobster Cup. Wow, a notebook we can decorate. Jesus Christ, this guy. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's like that Spider Man meme. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Scary. Ah, the ghosts! Ah! Very scary. What? <laughs> oh my god, what is this game? I love it. You have frog friends, that's not me? Ah! <laughs> How's your book decoration coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know. I know, I'm just taking my time, is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding. I do have all day. Take as long as you need. 
<laughs> okay, let's decorate the thingy then. Hmm, which sticky should I pick? And where should I go? Oh, Jesus Christ, there's so many. Why do I have a sticker of me? No, there we go, done. <laughs> there are hats. You can wear a hat now. Congratulations. Okay, I see now why you can't wear hats. But then we can have some extra pair of eyes. There we go. This book belongs to the detective. And we should also add uh, um, 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 the this one. And maybe a heart. There we go. So pretty. No, not the heart. And a lipstick because... You know, you know, if you're furry, you know. <laughs> there we go. Knowles. Okay, I'm done. Good book? Yep, nah. Yep. Sticky! <laughs> Got the notebook? Yeah! Open your notebook with tab. Oh! This was what I, what I uh, wanted in the other game. This is so cool. Suspect? So I can suspect stuff? Suspicious! <laughs> This is very suspicious. Lobster cup, look at my book. Okay. Um, let's get on with the case then. Aww. It's kinda cute. <laughs> Goodbye. Time to solve another mystery. Yeah. It's not as fancy walking animation as it was last time. Oh. Was this the magic cart or whatever? <laughs> oh right, yeah, the, the, so this game, um, from what I understood, um, the people who made Super Hot, uh, the VR game and PC game and all, um, they like um, supported this, uh, this game. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they published it or whatever, but at least they are the supporters of the game, like, money-wise. Starring the detective. Susan. Ralph. Oh, he's cute. Mandy. <laughs> Mary. And <laughs> more characters. What? <laughs> oh. Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. Here we go! Created by Grace Braxner and Thomas Broker. Boker. Geniuses. Oh, okay, let's solve mystery, shall we? Ooh. Can I go back? <laughs> no. I really love the aesthetics of it. This far. Okay. Oh no, the decorations are ruined. No! You look suspicious. You look like a wizard. Okay, just let, take, take a look around before we start talking to people. Hmm. Very suspicious. Hmm. Hello, wizard. Oh, Yes, very suspicious. Hmm. Hmm. Are you selling stuff? This is very suspicious. Suspicious indeed. Oh, these are the characters. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, I love it. Uh... <laughs> oh, what is this? I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'm holding on to it for now. Got the pie! Ah, oh, cool! So I got the lost pie! <laughs> um, hello? Oh, I'm already starting to talk to people. That was what I wanted. Oh well. Hello, is anyone home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Uh, let's continue look. Whoa! Why are you so scary? Boy. Uh, more pie? I'm not sure where this pie is lying here, but it seems out of place, so I'm holding on to it for now. We got the pie! One lost pie. Two lost pies. Yeah. Oh, you f I forgot you. What are you? Why do you have a nose like that? 
Oh, is it your pies? So you gonna want me to get them back for you, maybe? Oh, it's a dog again. Very suspicious. And you got a... Uh, whatever that is called. Very suspicious. Oh, you live with the... The zebra? Very suspicious. Okay, we went around to everyone. So let's start talking to whatever her name was. Rose, Mary, uh, Charlotte. Susan! <laughs> oh, my stars! It's you! It's me! The famous lobster cup! <sighs> Though, I really thought you'd be a lobster. Ah, uh, no. I'm a frog. Ah! Then why is your name Lobster Cup? I have to tell you something. Uh-huh. I am not Lobster Cup. <laughs> Her world just shatters like, No! <laughs> why not? <laughs> why are you not Lobster Cup? <laughs> well, I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I am the detective. Uh... Frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cups not the <laughs> Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency. Which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Very suspicious. Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me though. To remove all doubts. Okay. Question me all you like. Okay. About wizard, about last night. But nothing wrong. Okay. About the wizard. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. <laughs> Um, so you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely! That old house has been empty for years, and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it looks nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. <laughs> sure it is. What? I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker, yet. But I worked really hard in this sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, for sure. Some people are protectors of the communities, and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New, new people make places better because they bring new perspectives. Especially in small communities. Hopefully this is just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. Even you, Susan. If that's even your real name. <laughs> but not me, right? Even you. Especially you. <laughs> Especially me? Oh, no. Sorry, not, not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook? That's it! Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll do my best. Question me all you like. I wonder if you, I'm gonna need to f buy something from the zebra guy. And maybe get money or do he, doing you know, him a favor so I can buy something. Huh. Maybe. About last night. What did you need? Okay, she needed a hook, so that's what she's gonna say. But about last night. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah. I picked all the colors myself and everything. Although, I'd admit it was a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why's that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. <laughs> I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I understand. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. 
Now that I think of it, I saw a big van near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in, or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it all the time, of course. Maybe it was a ghost van! <laughs> or an invisible, a silent wizard van. Hmm. That's all I remember, sorry. No worries. Uh, okay. Bye for now. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroy the parade out of embarrassment. Needs. Something to fix her sign. Note. Insist she is not suspicious. Oh! I wanted to read it all. Insist she is not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van near the entrance last night. Suspicious! <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Okay, so a hook. I like this one, it's cute. Okay, let's uh, continue clockwise, which brings us to the rhino here. Mary! La! Ooh, la, 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 la. Hello? Hello, frog! <laughs> Hello, uh, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh. Are you okay? I'm tired. <laughs> hmm. Maybe you should get some sleep then. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep. And that's where everyone soundproofed their houses. And that's why nobody heard why the, the, when everything got destroyed. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not my problem. <laughs> I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Don't call her at 3 a.m. Ah. Uh, wow. That's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair saloon. Snip, snip. That will be 100 money. Uh, I don't have any hair. Or any money. That's okay. You can pay me back later. <laughs> Did you just want money from for cutting my hair? I think this is a fraud. <laughs> just joking. Anyway, who are you? <laughs> well, I am the detective. Oh, cool! Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh boy, I love questions! About the wizard about last night. Okay, start with the wizard. So, what do you know about the wizard I'm moving? <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. <laughs> Ah, uh, I was asking about the wizard. Oh! Yeah, that's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I am a detective. Right! This is a part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so... I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Haha! <laughs> Literary never! <laughs> So, like, I hear that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. And Ralph was the, the lion, right? Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Noddy, like, attacked the wizard one time. <gasps> Who's Noddy? We, I need to talk to that one. <laughs> and that's all, actually. <laughs> Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats! <laughs> About last night. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? 
Oh boy, yeah, sucks that the parade was destroyed. <laughs> uh, oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. Huh? You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. <laughs> You're so helpful. <laughs> what did you see? Detective, have you heard of extortion? <laughs> uh, yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. <laughs> Someone is full of themselves. Oh, why are you extorting me? <laughs> I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get me some soon then. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? I'm sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. So I figured if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La! And what will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. A phone number? Who am I calling? Well, I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. And I don't think that you will be able to solve the case without this phone number. <sighs> Hence, the extortion. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Uh, yeah. So she wants money. The other one was a hook. Let's see here. Mary. Motive. Perhaps the wizard is embarrassing than her. Needs five money. Notes. Sings really loud all the time. Everyone's who from the houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorting me. I have never been extorted before. What a thrill. <laughs> Suspicious. Uh, wrong button again. Okay, where are they? There are four more characters to talk to here. And there seems to be someone in there maybe. So I guess I'll talk to this one as well. And then we will end the episode. Is that the toothpaste? And the shell? These are all from the other game, what? <laughs> Did you steal it? Did you? Suspicious. Very suspicious. I love these photos. <laughs> this dog is so cute. <laughs> like, help me. Oh, okay. Hello, Mrs. Zebra. Carlos. Ah, a customer. Welcome to Carlos All Things You Can Need Shop. Are you Carlos? Yes. Just like the name of the shop. That's me. Haha, <laughs> how cool is that? <laughs> the shop has my name on it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. And what is your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. And what's your name? Crime? <laughs> oh, no. I am the Frog Detective. That's not really a name though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal construct. We have to reject it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor Lobster Cop has a picture of himself right above his desk. What? You know Lobster Cup? Yep. Holy heck! I've been a fan forever! You know we solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. Oh, uh, I don't think... Hmm? Well, it was actually me that sold it. Wait, really? It was all over the TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. I did. I had. A, I did the same mistake when I started. When I saw the lobster first, I was like, "Oh, is that lobster cop?" And it was lobster cop. It was just a ghost detective. No, a ghost scientist. Oh, you must have been thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Ah, no, Larry's a regular sized lobster. 
Not the Larry I know. <laughs> oh well, agree to disagree. <laughs> I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Hmm, that's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose? Yeah, I would differ that he's the best detective, but Lobster Cop is the best cop. Maybe, or maybe Lobster Cop is a detective as well. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay, what would you like to know? Tell me about the night in question. I can't ask him about the wizard. Where were you last night? Just here, in my shop. What about when you closed up? Hmm? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up when they need to buy anything. <laughs> then where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. <laughs> I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. <laughs> Do you ever take breaks? Hmm, sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel the most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. <laughs> Me too. Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? <laughs> uh, the crime? <laughs> huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you a bit more. <laughs> go for it. The wizard, there we go. What do you know about the wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Oh, so that was the, the door that we were knocking on before. That was the wizard's house. I see. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? <laughs> the parade that everyone has been prepping for. Whoa, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. <laughs> I have literally no idea what's happening. <laughs> you weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who is the parade for again? Is it for me? <laughs> no, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, okay. Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw parades, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was rowing at the last parade. I've been too busy working on my shop to buy a new one. Oh no! How embarrassing! I can't show up to the parade without one! <laughs> Do you think it's too late to order one online? Uh, well, it'll be tight. You're right. Ugh, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh. Thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Maybe you can give me some money. Not a problem. What would you like to know? That's all, thanks. Motive. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. Needs. Party hat. Notes. Busy boy. <laughs> Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. You know what? That sounds very suspicious. <laughs> and I pressed the wrong button again. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. And I just remember I forgot there's this guy as well. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> this there's one, two, three, and four people left to talk to. Will do that is so cute. Ah! Was it something here? No, I thought I saw something. Um, but okay, uh, in the next episode we will talk to those last four people. Um, hopefully I can make up voices for everyone. Um, but we'll talk to them and see how it all connects. Because just as the last game, this is a short game. 
about one hour play. Um, I already played it for one hour now, so la the last game also took me two hours to finish. Um, I guess you're supposed to read faster than I am doing. <laughs> so I think that's about half the game there. Um, we'll find out in the next episode. Who is the Invisible Wizard? And what happened to the parade? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for my Patreon. For my Patreon. Thank you so much to my patrons who support me and just coming in new patrons. And I mean, this screen is probably really big now. <laughs> and soon I guess I will just have to make it over the whole, the whole screen. And to everyone else, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, leave a like and tell me in the comments. Who do you think it is? Who is the most suspicious this far? Hmm. And... Uh, we will solve it in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, a bro pot to y'all. And uh, take care, guys. And I will see you in the next episode. Damn, Carlos, you thick. Boy!